The tradition of beginner coders learning to code with a Hello World exercise has persisted because it's typically a very simple program to write while introducing learners to the basic structure and syntax of a language. Here it is, for example, in C++. This is what it looks like in JavaScript, Python, Java, Ruby, Perl, Swift, and Golang. And here is CX. Just like those other languages, the best way to learn CX is to start with Hello World. So let's examine this specific program to see what it can teach us about writing CX code. Let's start with the first line. Every program in CX is organized in packages. CX uses modularization, meaning a program can be broken into distinct packages to avoid making any given program file too large or unwieldy, as long as all those packages are in the same directory or workspace. In the same way C Sharp has namespaces or Python has modules, CX has packages. Every CX program must have at least one main package. Hello World is a simple program, so it only has one package, which therefore must be main. Just as every CX program must have a main package, every CX program must also declare a main function. Once that function is declared, the program knows that anything that falls between the curly brackets is part of that function. Defining this function is your CX program's entry point, and the main function will be run first, telling the computer running the program what to do next. A function is a subroutine of the program that can be executed by calling its name, in this case, main. This allows a programmer to build frequently used operations into functions that can be called whenever they're needed, rather than typing the function out in full each time. The parentheses are required, but in this case they do not contain any data. In more complex functions, you would place input or output parameters in between these parentheses to modify the way the function operates. These parameters allow a given function to behave differently, depending on what data is sent to it. Here is the meat of the function, nestled between two curly brackets. This is the part where the program tells the computer to print Hello World, which really is the main function of the program. STR is short for string. CX is characterized as a strict typing system. This feature means there tends to be a type-specific function for achieving a given task. Integers store whole numbers, strings store text data, and floats, or floating-point data types, store decimal data, like a number with a fractional component in decimal notation. So the program is invoking the string data type with the function print. The parentheses contain the value of the data type you wish to print, which in this case is hello world. The quotation marks isolate the phrase and prevent the program from trying to interpret the phrase as code. This line is interpreted by the computer to mean print the string hello world to the standard or default output stream. The closing curly bracket closes the function and also our hello world program. So let's run it and see what happens. When you've written your program in your favorite text editor, you can save it with the extension CX and have an executable CX program application. In this case, you can see that running our hello world.cx program by typing CX followed by the file name will print hello world in the terminal. We could also execute the program by adding a dash i to the end of our original command, which tells CX to run the program as interpreted code rather than compiled code. But you can run it either way, or both ways, since CX can work with both compiled and interpreted code at the same time. As you learn more about CX or write more complicated programs, you'll see why one approach or a combination may be preferable from a performance standpoint. There's a third way to run your CX program with a dash R, but you'll have to keep reading in the CX textbook to learn how that works. Links are in the description below. Good luck on your CX programming journey. <laughs>